All right, so I got the halo ring installed. I glued it all in there with this silicone. It's pretty good and thick stuff. Um, it's been sitting around for a few years, so maybe it's working better because of that. Then I put, I drilled the back of the cone out um, that went over top of this. And I'm gonna put the cone back in, but the cone I had to install this little sub subsequential LED, so I siliconed underneath the edges here and in the front here and I got the screwdriver just kind of holding it in there then I'll mount that in there and use more silicone the old bulb as you see is an 8 8 66 8 86 a 37 watt so it should have been pretty bright but I don't know if it's really a headlight but these are 8 8 um, 8 80s I don't, know. I don't know they're the same they come with a little uh, a shield that goes over this. I don't have it on right now, but uh, you can either have them blue or clear, but I couldn't fit it through this hole with that tube on, so I'd have to drill this out a little bit more, and then those tabs, I'd worry about those tabs holding it, but it's got a, it, you know, you can't get it in there with that cylinder on. So, hold on a second, and then I'll show you this again. I, I took the front corner of the fender off there, and I had to cut this and get this out of the way in order for that thing to go in there. See, I gotta snap that off. Um, so it was down like that, but I cut it with a jigsaw. Eh, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. And I'll put it back together, and then the back of that fan's gotta fit through there, see? So that's about it for this video there. So this fan sticks out way further than this, see? So you gotta you want it custom like that and have those nice LEDs in there with a fan, you gotta do that.